Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Apple MacBook Pro. A lot of clients these days really love the Apple aesthetic and they try to imitate that um, when it comes to their products, especially when you're dealing with electronics like laptops and phones and drones and all that. They love the Apple kind of premium look where you uh, have your product in like a white scene. Um, and in the end of this tutorial, I actually had like a very pinkish scene, but then when it came to the thumbnail, I just switched everything to white um, and then just adjusted the exposures for that. Um, but yeah, people, clients really love the kind of white scene when it comes to um, their renders. So I thought I'd show you how to do an actual um, MacBook Pro laptop and then hopefully you can take these techniques and learn how to do different types of laptops and different types of electronics. Um, products and hopefully you can learn from them so again i've condensed this thing down to like 12 minutes or so or probably even less um just to save a lot of time um if you if it is a little bit fast you can just kind of pause here and there but i'm sure you don't want to watch a four hour tutorial when it can just be 12 minutes you can just get all the essential parts that you need and then um you don't have to skip through the video and try and find out where where the important parts are and waste your own time. Um, so yeah, this video is a little bit long for me to talk over, so I'm gonna probably just skip to music at some point, and then you can just kind of watch through what you need to do, and if you don't need to see the whole thing, you can just skip off. And yeah, so I'm gonna post this project on my Patreon if you wanna just download the project files there, um, instead of making this yourself. But if you wanna make this yourself, this is a very easy uh, product to do. It's kind of the makeshift version. So usually I would have, I would add in a lot more detail and uh, I would um, put a lot more time into the individual pieces. So like you'll see in the end that the keyboard itself, uh, usually I'll uh, model out each key and then inside of After Effects, type out all the keys and stuff like that so that you have uh, control over the animation and the letters and all that stuff. Um, if, you, if I was like dealing with a client situation, that's what I do. But here in this tutorial, I just slapped a, a photo of the keyboard on top. So like a lot of uh, the way this keyboard is done in this tutorial is like a makeshift version. So if you want something that's quick and simple to do, something that's also easier for your beginner, um, this is the way to do it. And uh, most clients, depending you know, if you're dealing with smaller types of clients, they're not very uh, picky in terms of uh, how pixel perfect it should be. So um, this will look good enough for most people. Um, it's only when you're dealing with, uh, my studio tends to deal with um, rendering out like 5K resolution images and everything needs to be pixel perfect. And um, with the price that we give, the quality needs to be there. So we tend to, um, model this out in a bit of a different way with a lot more detail and it'll probably look very similar if not exactly the same but it only you'll only start to notice it when you start to look at like the 5k resolution images and start to zoom in and like start to see where um, all the details are that's when you'll start to notice the mistakes but if you're looking at the thumbnail of this video um, you will barely notice a difference um, so this is good enough for a beginner intermediate um, if you just want to know we're making a very very good render so hopefully this you'll be able to use this to show to clients and um, implement this in your kind of 3d work so that if a client comes by um, you'll be able to give them very very good renders that look just like Apple they don't have to spend millions of dollars trying to get renders like that so they can just go to you so hopefully you find value in this and yeah if you, again if you want to download these project files you can get them on the patreon uh, and then if you want to get my free professional workflow guide you can also get that in the description and I've started to post a couple blog posts on our studio website as well um, also starting to offer value to clients as well if they're kind of curious about a few topics we're starting to write blog posts on like um, why companies are starting to use 3d animation instead of using going to like a film studio and like all the top companies that are doing that um, and we might also start writing some blog posts to offer value to you guys as 3d animators and 3d students and 3d artists and yeah so hope you enjoy and hope this fine i hope you find value in the rest of this video i'm starting to stumble already and yeah i'll just let the music play and have a good day and i'll see you guys on the next one enjoy the rest of the tutorial bye bye